Hello again and welcome to TK Fit TV. We really appreciate your, your watching us. Uh, we really care about the information that we give to you. Uh, and always remember that fitness is for everybody and we care so much about each and every one of you. Today our subject is going to be cycling. Cycling, uh, two areas. One, stationary. And the information I'm going to give you will also benefit you if you're cycling outdoors. Okay, so what you're looking at right here, right now, is my bike. I'm shooting out of my home today. And you'll see this is the bike that I've used time and time again. Some of you have seen me uh, on Facebook or whatever doing this thing. But this is an amazing stationary bike. If you ever can get a hold of one, I'm going to give a shameless plug to Google. Google did a remarkable, remarkable thing. Uh, this is like Tour de France. This is what the bike is. Uh, the title of the bike but what they've done is they've actually taken the Google map and they've actually when you're riding you're actually can program or ride anywhere in the world and the bike will literally move according to the course and not only that you can actually see where you're riding I've ridden in Kauai I've ridden home I've ridden past my mother's house several times and she didn't even know it nevertheless let's get back <laughs> to what we're talking about um, when you're riding a bike you have to remember this especially uh, you want to prevent injury. The injuries that accompany improperly riding a bike are your knees, uh, your lower back, and oftentimes your shoulders and your neck. This is important because if you don't get on the bike properly or if you don't get the bike fitted properly, you're going to encounter these problems. So what I'm going to specifically address, which also applies to the street as well, a regular bike, is spinning. Spinning is a very popular sport. And these are for you people who really, really love to really just pour out your heart in a spinning class. I want to say to you, you have to be very, very careful. And hopefully, this video will help you understand why it's important. First of all, when you have your stationary bike, or any bike, it is fitted to you. A bike is not just bought and then you sit on it and ride because they want to make sure that you get the most out of your bike, those who sell it to you, of course, and those who care. But when you get a bike and it's fitted to you, then it, it will not injure you. <clears throat> and this is the most important thing. First of all, when you go into a spinning class, the one thing you want to understand is a bike is, when a bike is stationary, that means it can fit anybody. But the problem is, you have to make adjustments to these bikes. These bikes are made the same. Uh, all the bikes are the same in a gym, uh, from the same companies usually. And so the way you get the most out of your class is you have to begin to adjust the bike. Now here's some key things you need to work on or concentrate on. First of all, the seat. You have to make sure that the seat is a distance enough where you have good extension from your seat to either the clip, which you see here, or uh, a pedal. Your legs have to be able to remain straight and I will demonstrate that to you uh, later on as I talk to you. Once your leg has remained a little bit straight, not all the way straight, when you are not pedaling you should be able to extend your leg all the way. Why? Because this, this helps your blood to continually circulate while you're pedaling, okay, which is very important because usually some people get cramps in their legs, things like that, for poor circulation. Uh, they're not getting enough circulation through the leg. Sometimes the leg get numb. Uh, other extremities can get numb too, like, you know, if you ever had your fingers get numb, have you ever had your hands get numb while you're riding, you know, these things you want to look for. So the seat width is very important. So what you want to do is you want to take the seat, stand next to the bike, like I'm doing here, and you want to measure from your hip, the top of your hip here, approximately one inch, okay? One inch below your hip, approximately one inch. And then when that's in, you tighten here. Now, the thing with the seat going forwards and backwards, what you want to do is you want to adjust your seating. And you want to make sure that you have an elbow, at least an elbow to hand length. What this is, this space here determines your back and neck width, okay? Because if in fact you're way back here, you're leaning too far forward and your head is forward. Okay, so you wanna be straight. You wanna be able to sit on your bike straight, okay? So what I'm gonna do, if you come with me, I'm gonna walk around the bike really quick. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. 
I have clips on, okay? So I'm gonna get clip in the bike like so because it's already adjusted for me. Now also, the handlebars on the bike, they can be too low or too high. Well, you want them parallel. Some people who are in a spinning class, the, the handlebars are way up here. Some people, the handlebars are too far down. What happens is when they're too far up, your body's out of line. When they're too far down, there's a lot of pressure on the shoulder and the neck. So you want it parallel. You want everything straight. Um, because what this does is that allows you to get on the bike and remain straight as you ride. So when I'm clipped in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around and sit on the bike. As you can see, this leg is straight. However, when I'm riding, it's not going to be straight. You see that I'm, I'm, I'm forward here. I'm just leaning forward enough. As you can see, my tricep is contracted. This is basically how you want to be. If I was way down here, I'll be here. If I was way up there, there will be no tricep and no core movement as I paddle. So you want to be here. You clip in the other leg. So as you can see, now when I'm riding, you see my knees are slightly bent. If you can look over to my right, my knee, my knee, my leg is coming up. My knee is here. My knee is not over like this, which this is a problem when you're spinning. You're not aware that you can damage your knees. If you're, you're not getting on a bike and you're not like this, then you're not right. Now, as you pedal, you want to pedal with the heel. You want to think in your mind, push, pull. Well, what that means is with this leg, you're going to push with your knees in, pull with the opposite leg. So as you're doing that movement, the movement of the uh, gears goes around you, pushing, pulling, pushing, pulling. So the movement, the, the power comes from your glute and your hamstring and your quad, not just your quad. This is why people get bigger legs and, and a weak upper body when they're riding. Now, what you want to do when you're riding, you want to adjust the tension to where you feel resistance. You must feel resistance in your legs. Without resistance, nothing changes. Without resistance, there's no fat burning. You're only sweating. You're sweating through aerobic exertion, and you're not changing the way your body looks. Spinning, cycling, whether you're mountain biking or you're road biking or whether you're doing an indoor class, the goal is to burn fat. Sweating is for everybody, but fat is only for those who are willing to make the sacrifice not only to engage muscle, but to maintain a sound diet in their life. Food is 70 to 80 percent. Never ever say you eat good. Look in the mirror. What you see is what you get. What you see is a reflection of what you're doing outside. More to come later. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you soon. God bless. Peace. Now I'm going for my ride.